The Minister of Labour and Employment, Chris Ngige, has described President Muhammad Buhari as a Democrat who is afraid of breaching the Constitution. Ngige claimed that no past president of Nigeria would tolerate what Nigerians are throwing at Buhari. This is according to Daily Post's reports. He said, Nigerians see Buhari as a willing horse to be ridden to death. Ngige, who was speaking on China's television, said, the former presidents Olusegun Obasanjo and Good Luck Jonathan would not tolerate some of the criticisms thrown at Buhari. He also dismissed claims that Buhari was found of flouting the rule of law. Ngige said, the president was rather afraid of breaching any of the Nigerians' laws. He said, if a government has done well, if a president has done well, give him accolades there. Areas he has not done well, point them out and discuss. Buhari is a Democrat and is so afraid of a breach of the Constitution or any law. I am even stronger than him in terms of that, and he gave claims. Even President Olusegun Obasanjo, can he give you people this latitude? He will not. I know him. Even ex-president Goodluck Jonathan will not allow such. They will not grant you people that. So, Buhari is a willing horse and Nigerians want to ride him to death. Ngige claims. All right, now, this is um, another fallacy from those who are working for uh, with Buhari as it is. And this is what we should all uh, know. We all know President Goodluck Jonathan, how soft, meek, gentle, humble, peaceful as he is. And one person is coming to tell us that Buhari is the saint and the angel. Of course, we know where he's speaking from. He's speaking from one side of the mouth because he is already deep or neck deep into Buhari as it were. What Ingege is saying here for me is just saying it to please his masters. And these are lies from the pit of his belly. He cannot come and be telling us that Buhari, that we know, a former world general that we know, is actually much more peaceful than the beloved good luck Billy Jonathan, as it were. That is actually wrong. Let's take a few reactions and hear what people are saying concerning this particular take and opinion of Ngige. While we can understand former President Olusha Obasanjo, who probably would not take some of the things that is happening today, but not good luck Jonathan. This is the same good luck Jonathan that the APC, even President Muhammadu Buhari, protested against when he wanted to deregulate you know, the oil sector and increase the price of uh, petroleum. But today, look at it. The question is, where is the right of speech? Where is the freedom of expression? Where is the freedom of speech of people? All these laws have been trampled upon, and that is just the truth of the matter. So are you going to call that you know, um, a peaceful man or a man who is afraid of breaching the laws, a man who arrests people and locks them up, a man who wrongly prescribed IPOP as a terrorist organization but give you know, immunity and all what have you to... Um, the Fulani bandits in the northern part of the country, is that man or is that the person you want to call or tell us that he is a Democrat or he is uh, one that is actually a better person than good luck Jonathan? Jonathan that was, you know, uh, ridiculed in office, even his wife, his family and everything, yet he did not lift a finger, you know, against anybody. Jonathan that spoke out, pleaded with Nigerians, despite him being mocked, despite him being... Um, actually, um, you know, being ridiculed, but yet he did not attack anybody. No single person under Good Luck Jonathan was arrested for abusing the president. No single person under Good Luck Jonathan 
was abused or was arrested for protesting against him. But what do we have under this regime? So why is it that these guys will always come to lie to us? What is actually behind? Do you think that Nigerians are fools? Does he think that Nigerians are actually not entities? Does he think that Nigerians are actually, you know, uh, forgetful like they probably might be? Of course, no. Nigerians know their words. Nigerians know what they are doing. Nigerians know everything that is happening. And this is one that this man has gotten wrong, you know, and we must tell him to his face. It is sad and unfortunate. Walter Chibuzo says, I'm sure that Dr. Chris Mwabweze Ngige has lost his grounds in the scheme of things politically here in Anambra just because of his romance with the stupidity just to please his pay masters. The truth is that you can defend this regime and sound sane. You see, nobody can defend Buhari and be sane. You cannot defend, uh, sorry, defend this administration. They are indefendable. That is just the truth of the matter. It is really, really absurd. It is really, really uncalled for. Why would he say such a thing? You know, because he wants to please his pay masters, and that is just it and nothing more. He's only interested in paying, you know, uh, lending his voice to support his master, and probably that is it. Buhari is the worst president Nigeria has ever had. Buhari is the worst leader in Nigeria. And Buhari is not a Democrat. He's in no way closer to being a Democrat. He is a very, very, very um, wicked person, as it were. And that is just the truth of the matter. Take it or leave it. Nobody should come and market Buhari or he, uh, he, Buhari can no longer be marketed can no longer be marketed. That is just the truth of the matter. Buhari can no longer be marketed. Well, it is sad and unfortunate that, you know, people from the Southeast who are supposed to be respected, who are supposed to be um, seen as men who are, who has value, men who has what it takes, you know, to stand and tell the truth. When you see them fumbling like this, you know that something has gone wrong and something is wrong somewhere. Well, guys, it is what it is. What are your thoughts concerning this particular mystery as it were? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share this new story with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.